Hi, I'm Amy from Star Within Grace. After my last video, I decided that a massive Gossip Girl lookbook would be more interesting and valuable to you guys than a wearing the outfits for a week video. So here I am back with like a lot of outfits. <laughs> Some of these outfits are direct recreations from outfits seen on the show, and others are more my interpretation of the vibe of the character with pieces from my own wardrobe. Check out my last Gossip Girl video if you haven't seen that one yet, as I won't be recreating those looks again. But otherwise, let's get on with the outfits. She and who am I? That's not a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. In the last video, it ended up being the Serena show, so I'm leaving her to last and instead starting with Blair Wardle. Blair Wardle's style could be described as Parisian prep, always put together with a romantic European spin on prep school chic. She adores classic items, patterns, tweed, bold and pastel colours, and also interesting items are a must for Blair. In addition, there are two items that are super important if you are doing a Blair Waldorf outfit. Tights and headbands. I can't believe you told Jenny about me and Chuck. For my first outfit, I think I have all those elements. This one isn't a direct recreation, but I feel still embodies something she would wear. What are you doing here? I went with a white button-up shirt with black cravat tie scarf thing. I'm not really sure what you call it, but it shows up in quite a lot of these outfits. To complete the base of this outfit, I also have a plaid skirt. To fulfill the all-important Blair requirements, I have on white stockings and a patterned top knotted headband. Adding in some of those bold colors she's famous for, I completed the outfit with a red coat, red heels, and a pop of color yellow crossbody handbag. Her handbags are always brand name, of course, but mine is just a regular cheapie from a thrift store. May I have a word? Off camera. The other headband and tights look I have for Blair is slightly more toned down in colour. Instead, we have some layering of patterns. Nate! Are you okay? We've got the same white button-up shirt and black cravat scarf base, but this time I've gone for a black and grey pleated skirt. Although the silhouette says schoolgirl, the metal detailing along the base is perhaps a little edgier than Blair would typically lean, but it was the best fit for this outfit. We have the same stockings and headband as the first outfit, this time paired with black ballet flats. To finish it off and add all the interest, I layered this black grid pattern coat over this grey grid pattern blazer. Very different pieces from the original outfit, but I think my take works as well. Why am I even asking your opinion on fashion? And why are you not responding? What stopped your never-ending soliloquy? Blair also enjoys a good hat moment, so this next outfit features a white beret. The base of the outfit is a pink lace ruffled button-up blouse with a tweed miniskirt layered over the top of some lace stockings. The look is finished off with black pointy toe patent leather pumps and a black coat. Blair's winter looks are definitely where she shines the most with her layering skills and excellent collection of coats. This coat is no exception. The base is pretty simple, a white button-up shirt, black sweater and skirt with some more white tights and black pumps. Then we have this statement black and white grid pattern coat over the top. I also accessorized with some leather gloves and a red handbag. Here's another recreation of a winter look that showcases her layering and pattern mixing skills. What are you doing on campus so early? We have a black pattern top with paper bag waist grid pattern grey shorts over black stockings with black boots. Okay, hurry. I think on the show hers is actually a skirt, but these shorts were pretty similar. 
Then I used my grey grid pattern blazer over the top with pearl detail jewellery. That's the last of Blair's looks I managed to recreate. You have to keep me away from Chuck for the next 24 hours, no matter what. I skipped over Vanessa and Georgina because I just couldn't replicate any of their outfits with pieces from my own wardrobe. But I did do one of Blair's cronies, Nelly Yuki. Just because I have all the pieces in my wardrobe and Blair's cronies actually have some really cute outfits as well. That's not my Eli account. No, it's mine. I applied to Yale too, remember? Yes, but your application was merely a formality to appease your overbearing parents. For this outfit, I used my white Gucci pattern stockings, white and snakeskin heels, black mini skirt from my Academia Mystery Box video, a patterned button up shirt, and in place of her pink coat, I used my suede pink leather jacket. I accessorized with a black tie to get that school uniform item in there, and of course, I had to have some big black glasses as they are Nelly's signature. The font's too small, I have to check it on a real computer. It says waitlisted and bold. I varied a little from the inspiration, but I think I get a similar vibe and a cute outfit nonetheless. Another character who at least starts off with a very similar preppy and colorful vibe is Jenny Humphreys or Little J. Jenny starts out with an innocent, quirky and preppy look that takes some inspiration from Queen Bee, her early season role model. She was constantly trying to keep up with the other popular girls, but didn't have the budget for the fancy name brand clothes, so she made her own. Which gives her looks even more uniqueness and creativity, which is not surprising with her ex-rock star dad and artist mum. Through the seasons, she evolved into a punk gothic princess who embraced her creativity and own unique style with mesh, fishnet elements, slouchy fits, leather, rips, tears, and a lot of black and darker colours. I can't do her justice without showing her style transformation, so I will do a few looks from both, but I am going to of course start with her more innocent and colourful looks. Skiing is too dangerous. You broke your arm in the spa. <laughs> the first outfit I have to start with is this mint red and navy one, which I believe she wears very early on and is so so similar to what Blair would wear. We have the white button up shirt with the black cravat tie thing, a plaid skirt layered over white tights and a headband. Sound familiar? Jenny adds another interesting element by also including some navy polka dot socks between her tights and her red heels. I totally stole these socks from my hubby and have just folded them down. Really not as cute as Jenny's, but I don't think they look bad from a distance. <laughs> Layered over the top of this base, we also have a red cardigan and a mint green coat, which I had to substitute out for this grey one. Oh, I've got some dresses on hold at Bengals. Not quite as colourful and cute, but I had to make do with what I had. I also brought out my Pan Am handbag, which is a similar blue to the one Jenny carries. Hey, Upper East Siders. It's Christmas in New York, and along with the season comes the Constance Billard St. Jude's Bazaar. My other sweet Little J outfit recreation starts with my green plaid skirt, which features a lot in today's lookbook, with once again a plain white button up shirt. That's your good old schoolgirl look base, but it's interesting to see how it can be changed up with outer pieces and accessories. This time I went for patterned black tights black patent pumps, leather gloves, red beret, tweed blazer, and black coat. Oh, and that weird black cravat tie thing again as well. Okay, well, you grounded me. And I won't be able to unground you until I know you're okay. That's why we're going to Eleanor's. Wait, what? Moving on to Jenny's more edgier looks, this one is a little softer looking with some knit fabrics and not quite so much black. My recreation is a little looser though, as the pieces are only vaguely similar. I started with a loose red dress over my black Gucci tights this time, paired with some heeled black boots. Layered over the top is a grey batwing knit cardigan, some fingerless grey gloves and my grey fur snood. To finish it off I added a black knit beret instead of her green beanie. This is one where the essence isn't exactly Jenny in my opinion, but still a cute outfit. Agnes. Uh, hi. How are you? I also tried uh, a different coat and a different scarf just to see if that would look any better. What do you guys think? Which one's your favorite? 
girlfriends installed a puppet regime. Blair's gone, Colonel Kurtz. On to the full-on leather looks, some of these are really quite similar. We have a black tee with pleated black skirt, with the grey hem again, this time styled up to work for Jenny. Instead of the weird cravat thing, Jenny has now switched to a black tie loosely done up over her t-shirts. A leather jacket, of course, then some cool glasses and chunky black boots to finish off the look. In a similar vein, we have the good old trusty leather jacket, this time over a black lace bodysuit and a black mini skirt with some black fishnet stockings, chunky sandals and layered necklaces. And similar again is this outfit, leather jacket over white tee this time, loose black tie and layered necklaces once again, paired with black cut off denim shorts. I went with the black Gucci tights underneath this time and chucked on my black military boots to finish the look. A final variation on Jenny's schoolgirl looks, this time we have the leather jacket over a collared white crop top under a black sweater with my trusty plaid skirt. Hello loose black tie again, as well as black heeled boots and Gucci tights. I finished this one off with big silver hoop earrings. Rufus asked my size this morning. Does this mean I'm getting a flannel? No, he's just a costume enthusiast. For my final Jenny Humphreys look, I swapped out the leather jacket for a black blazer. This time, the leather comes in with the shorts. They are paired with a cropped corset style top. More layered necklaces make an appearance with fishnet stockings and black heeled boots once again. Jenny, you should come to the village with us. Uh, yeah, what are you guys doing sitting up here? The final touches are some sunglasses and a red crossbody bag. The red of my bag isn't giving like the red bag Jenny wears with her outfit, but again, making do. And finally, back to Serena. Serena's star can be best described as boho glam or rebel princess. She usually goes for flowy fabrics, plunging necklines, blazers, jackets, or jeans. She's the most in line with high fashion and the biggest risk taker. Her party girl past is always present, even in her finest looks. From wearing her prep school ties undone, to wearing sequins in her black tie affair, or even in her daytime looks. Her style is extremely bold, gutsy, and edgy, and says, here I am, in the most effortless way possible. The point is, whoever dates first wins. And with your ex being Dan Humphrey, you win by default. <laughs> This schoolgirl look for Serena uses my pleated black and grey skirt again. Isn't it funny how it can be styled for all three characters? For Serena, I paired it with a collared ribbed crop top with a loose black tie over the top. For shoes, I've gone some white thigh-high socks under black thigh-high boots, but I've shuffled them down to sit under the knee. To finish this look, I added an argyle cropped cardigan over the top and a black crossbody handbag. Hey, why aren't you at school? I'm taking the morning off. Wow, you're in a good mood. Butter with the girls must have gone well last night. One more schoolgirl look for you all, and this time I'm using it, you guessed it, my plaid skirt. For Serena, I've paired it with a grey t-shirt, loose black tie, and a leather jacket. This one could almost be mistaken for an edgy Jenny outfit. We also have black stockings on and a heart necklace. For shoes, I ended up going with those same thigh-high boots shuffled down to look more slouchy and like knee-high boots. Mr. Donovan, hey. Does this one count as schoolgirl? I can't remember where in the seasons it fits, but it definitely lends itself to more preppy schoolgirl vibes. But it's not your normal pleated skirt, green and gray colors. I think this is one that my recreation really doesn't stand up to the original either. Serena just looks chef's kiss in this one. I tried to emulate it with my striped black shorts, white plaid shirt, and red tweed blazer, but it's not quite there. The tights are a similar texture, but a different color, and the black Oxfords aren't as quirky and interesting either. You can't get them all. I can't believe Nate's finally coming home tomorrow. My favorite winter outfit from Serena is this outfit with these unique plaid stockings. I feel like this outfit is more reserved, proper, and covered than her usual. We have the cream knit sweater dress under a grey coat with black thigh high heels and cream gloves. Can you tell that my gloves are way too small for me? No? Good.
Another one of my favorite Serena outfits is this one with the loose light floral skirt layered into a winter outfit. My skirt is so very obviously a different print and color theme, but I still think it works. This is paired with a gray t-shirt, gray blazer, black stockings, and gray boots. I'm sorry that security guard was no help. No. Second. Hey! Please tell me the reason you're still not at work is because you met a cute guy in a business suit. No suit, but definitely cute. And lastly, we have this one. I have two versions of this one within my own wardrobe. Both versions share the same lace singlet top and statement necklace. The first is with a white fur vest and pleated brown suede leather midi skirt, paired with red heels and yellow earrings. That's where we're going? So when girls like you say lunch, they really mean clothes? The second version, I swapped the skirt out for a shorter knit pinky beige skirt, a crochet vest, some red earrings, and a snakeskin patterned tote bag. The red heels weren't really doing it for me with that one as it seemed a little more casual, so I swapped to pink flats instead. Which do you like better? So how many outfits did I just give you? 21, I think. Hopefully there's something in there for everyone. So tell me, which Gossip Girl character has the best style in your opinion? See you next time. XO, XO, Gossip Girl.